guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today on an all-new pre-workout supplement from an all-new supplement company. They're called Inspired Nutraceuticals coming out of Utah in the United States. It is a course. Inspired, devastate, in the house. Let's get straight into it, show you exactly what's in it, tell you exactly what it's going to do, that nutritional information panel, although quite large, ain't going to get it done. We're about to go balls deep in this here Inspired Devastate, or should I call it Inspired DVST8? Don't like consonants over at Inspired Nutraceuticals. Luckily, got ourselves a big ass nutritional information panel for the viewers at home. Go ahead and cut that up on the screen so the viewers can play along at home. Starting from the top. In fact, before we start from the top, bring the camera back on me real quick. Uh, just want to point out that this raw review is on the international version of Devastate, not the US version. Very slight difference. The US version has Sinephrine and Yohimbine. The international version, as you guys are about to discover, does not have Sinephrine or Yohimbine, but has a whopping fucking dose of Area Gerensis extract instead. Now we can go balls deep. Starting from the top, serving size one scarf. Okay, okay, let me, let me just back up a second. 8.9 grams per scoop. Serving size, and what I'm going to continue on this raw review is going to be on a two scoop serve. So you're actually going to get in a two scoop serve, you're going to get a 17.8 gram uh, total serving size in a two scoop serve. Got yourself about 20. Of them, two scoop, one serve bitches in one of these inspired, devastate bitches. So it's, it's 40 scoops or 22 scoop serves. That makes sense. And we're gonna, this raw review is gonna be on the two scoop serves. So as far as we're concerned, there's 20 of them two scoop serving bitches in one of these inspired, devastate bitches. In terms of what the uh, two scoop serve is made up of, we can do a quick summation, add up all of the active ingredients because Inspired have been kind enough to provide full disclosure across all of their active ingredients and the dosages. So we have a 100% transparent label, which is great to see. Quickly discover that we are dealing with 83.7% active ingredients spread across 14 different active ingredients, which means we've got 16.3% flavors and sweeteners, no artificial colors or dyes, and no artificial flavors, although they do use uh, artificial sweeteners. It, the the uh, Devastate, the Inspired Devastate is completely naturally flavored, which is good to see. Usually anything less than 20% uh, flavors, colors, fillers, all the non-active bits and pieces less than 20% is very good to see. And we got 16.3%. So off to a good start with this Inspired Devastate. In terms of what the 83.7% active ingredients, 14 of them, are made up of, and as I mentioned already, just to reinforce, we are using the two scoop dose. So we're going to slide on to the right hand side of this nutritional information panel, and those are the dosages that we are going to work with. Starting from the top, got yourself some vitamin B6 as pyridoxine hydrochloride in a 10 milligram dose. Vitamin B6, a cofactor in the biosynthesis of the neurotransmitters serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and GABA. Clinical dose of vitamin B6, 1.7 milligrams. We have 10 milligrams. It is stupidly overdosed. Moving right along, we then get into vitamin B12 in a 60 microgram dose. Vitamin B12 regulates the function of our brains and our central nervous system. It's essential in the production of healthy red blood cells, which enhance oxygen carrying capacity of our blood. It is quite a controversial ingredient because there's no real evidence to suggest that it does anything in trained athletes who are not vitamin B12 deficient. 
A clinical dose is not actually established, but we do have a recommended dietary intake of 2.4 micrograms per day. We have 60 micrograms, so it is stupidly overdosed. Moving right along, we're then going to group the next three ingredients together because they are all electrolytes. We have magnesium in a 20 milligram dose, sodium in a 20 milligram dose, and potassium in a 46 milligram dose, giving us 86 milligrams of total electrolytes. Viewers at home who are unaware, electrolytes are charged particles that can carry an electric current across your cells. When we look at potassium and sodium, potassium concentration is higher inside our cells than outside, and sodium flips out on its heads higher outside the cells than inside. Effectively, electrolytes control membrane potential, which controls muscle contractions, transmission of nerve impulses, and maintains our heart beat. Very difficult for me to comment on the clinical dose of electrolytes because they're found in a whole bunch of other things that we consume throughout the day. So we're, we're not even going to talk about clinical dose. And it's such a 86 milligrams across three electrolytes is such a small, tiny, insignificant dose that it's really not even worth talking anymore about. Moving right along, now we get into the good stuff, starting with what Inspired are calling their truth matrix. So I'm guessing this is kind of like the, the performance side of this, uh, of this, of, of this uh, pre-workout here, starting with L-citrulline in a 6,000 milligram dose. L-citrulline, for viewers at home who are unaware, is a precursor to arginine, which helps boost nitric oxide levels. Going to improve blood flow and increase nutrient delivery to working muscles. Improve muscle pumps, and if you're lean enough to get vascular, going to improve vascularity as well. Clinical dose of L-citrulline, and keep in mind this is freeform L-citrulline, not citrulline malate. Clinical dose is 3 to 4 grams. We have 6 grams of L-citrulline in every two scoops serve of this Devastate, stupidly overdosed. Moving right along, we then get into a beta alanine and a 3.2 gram or 3,200 milligram dose. Beta alanine increases the concentration of carnosine in working muscles and therefore buffers the buildup of fatigue toxins such as lactic acid and hydrogen ions. Effectively, it's going to have the, uh, the, the net effect of improving muscular endurance, help us train harder for longer. The clinical dose of beta alanine is 3,200 milligrams, which is what we have in a two scoop serve, so it is perfectly dosed. Moving right along, we then get into a Glissa pump in a 2,500 milligram dose, yielding 65% glycerol. Now this is actually, I'm just gonna, just gonna drill a deep, bit deeper down here, because this is the first time in a raw review that we have actually seen Glissa pump used uh, in any supplement. We're used to seeing Hydromax glycerol, which also yields 65% glycerol. Glissa pump, yields exactly the same amount of glycerol, it's just a different way of getting there. Slightly, the, the, the kind of industry talk at the moment is Glissa Pump is, is better than Hydromax in terms of stability in powder. So for those of you who have ever used a supplement that's had Hydromax in it, you would know that the supplement starts to clump, it gets a little bit, if you get a little bit of moisture in there, it's, it's game over. Glissa pump is supposed to be more stable at room temperature as a powder than Hydromax, but it yields exactly the same amount of glycerol, which is what we're taking it for. Glycerol, for viewers at home who are unaware, prevents dehydration through increasing intracellular concentration of fluid. It's going to hyperhydrate your muscles and therefore prevent dehydration, and also increase muscle volume. So it works quite well with, with uh, ingredients like citrulline that help with, uh, with, with muscle pump because you get a nice muscle pump plus muscle volume from the glycerol. Clinical dose of glycerol, one to two grams. We have 65% of two and a half grams, so we've got 1.625 grams or 1,625 milligrams, so it is very well dosed. Moving right along to the final ingredient in the truth matrix, we're talking about some L-taurine in a 2,000 milligram dose. L-taurine, an amino sulfonic acid, helps improve muscular endurance, improve cardio, cardiac function, boosts blood flow via vasodilation as well. Works quite well in combination with both beta alanine from a muscular endurance perspective and citrulline from a vasodilation perspective. Clinical dose of l taurine 500 to 2,000 milligrams. We have 2,000 milligrams. It is a huge dose. Moving right along, we then get into the PERFORM matrix, PER-4-M. 
matrix, <laughs> starting with caffeine and hydrus in a 350 milligram dose. Caffeine and hydrus, of course, a central nervous system stimulant, going to enhance physical energy, reduce fatigue, and boost psychological performance. Typical dose for caffeine in pre-workouts is 200, right up to 400 milligrams. We have 350 milligrams, so it is quite a significant dose of caffeine, definitely pushing that upper limit of what we generally see in pre-workout supplements. Moving right along, we then get into methylliberine, 40% as dynamine. So we've got the, the compounds called dynamine and it yields 40% methylliberine in a 300 milligram dose. Now I'm just gonna spend, a, 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 I'm gonna drill a bit deeper down here as well guys because this is the first time that we've reviewed a supplement that contains this all new stimulant called dynamine. Now those of you who are keen watchers of uh, Raw Reviews would notice that there are a lot of supplements now using a compound called Teacrine, which is a registered trademark version of, of Theocrine produced by a company called Compound Solutions. Dynamine is also produced by Compound Solutions, very, very similar to Teacrine. In fact, it comes from the exact same source, but the effects are slightly different. And I'm gonna drill down into those effects for you guys right now. So dynamine is a purine alkaloid with a methoxy group attached, which is what differentiates it from teacrine, naturally found in culture tea, similar to teacrine. It acts as a, a central nervous system stimulant to enhance physical energy and boost psychological performance, similar to caffeine. But then it also upregulates your dopamine receptors, which is going to have the effect of improving mood and having a, a minor effect on mental focus, but mainly improving mood and well-being. It then also increases the synthesis of acetylcholine, which is the primary neurotransmitter involved with increasing mental focus. There it is. I'm happy we got to do that in this raw review. <laughs> acts much faster than both caffeine and teacrine in terms of like the perceived stimulant effect you get from it. So it comes on very, very fast, but then also lasts a lot longer than caffeine with much less perceived crash, but not as long as teacrine. So it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's an interesting one, this dynamine comes on very fast, and I'll talk more about this in, in, in effects when I tell you guys exactly how the supplement affected me, but comes on very fast, much faster than caffeine or, and, and much, much faster than teacrine. Lasts longer than caffeine, but not as long as teacrine. So it's kind of, it's, it's almost kind of taking a little bit of caffeine type effects, a little bit of teacrine in terms of like how long it lasts for. Um, so it is quite, a, it's quite a unique, new stimulant uh, and I'm excited to see it kind of working its way into pre-workout supplements starting with this inspired devastation. The clinical dose of uh, dynamine, well the clinical dose of methylliberine is 100 milligrams when it's used in combination with caffeine or 200 milligrams in isolation. It is being used here in combination with caffeine, so we would say the clinical dose is 100 milligrams. We have 40% of 300, because this dynamine yields 40% methylliberine, so we have 120 milligrams, so we would go so far as to say that it is just slightly over clinical dose. Moving right along, we then get into area gerensis extract in a 300 milligram dose. Area gerensis, for viewers at home who are unaware, increases dopamine and noradrenaline. It's going to help elevate mood and feeling of well-being. So we can see a little bit of crossover with dynamine with regards to that uh, upregulating dopamine receptors and then increasing the synthesis of dopamine as well. Clinical dose of area gerensis extract, 125 to 150 milligrams. We have 300 milligrams. Stupidly overdosed. Moving right along, we then get into theobromine in a 100 milligram dose. Theobromine is the bitter alkaloid of the cacao plant. It's a central nervous system stimulant, but about 10 times weaker than caffeine. Works as a heart stimulant, also works to dilate blood vessels and works as quite a weak or mild diuretic. Your clinical or efficacious dose of theobromine, 500 milligrams. We only have 100 milligrams, but you do have to consider that it is being used with those three other stimulants, caffeine, methylliberine, and area extract. And then finally, 
The 14th and final ingredient in this inspired Devastate is astragin in a 50 milligram dose. This is an astragalus membranaceous and panax, not a ginseng extract. It's made by a company called New Live or New Live Science. Boosts absorption of active ingredients and other nutrients in your small intestine in particular. And I'm just throwing some numbers at you guys so you get a feel for what's up. 43% increase in amino acid absorption into your bloodstream. 18% increase in the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate, which is what uh, our muscles use for short, sharp muscle contractions as an energy source. 38% increase in insulin sensitivity and a 57% increase in glucose absorption. Uh, absorption. And these are double-blind placebo studies where these numbers are coming from, viewers at home. Your clinical dose of estrogen to get these effects is 50 milligrams. We have 50 milligrams in a two-scoop serve. So we would go so far as to say that it is perfectly dosed. Did that a bit early. Got yourself about 16 and a bit percent artificial sweeteners, flavors, no artificial colors used at all. And that's what's in it. So on paper, I mean 14 fucking ingredients in a pre-workout. It's pretty damn comprehensive. It ticks a lot of boxes, a lot of different things that we look for in pre-workouts. If we're gonna be really kinda narky about it and look at things that it is missing from a complete, you know, throw everything you've got at a pre-workout formula perspective, first and foremost, no creatine, uh, which you, viewers at home, you would know that I'm a big fan of not having creatine in pre-workouts because I think it's much, much better post-workout with simple carbs or first thing in the morning with simple carbs, depending on when you train um, and when your days, uh, days off are. So I'm not that big a fan of, of I'm not, not, not too concerned about that. But flowing on from creatine, there's really nothing in this formula for muscle power aside from creatine. So we don't have betaine, we don't have elev ATP, we don't have peak ATP. There's really nothing in here that, that, that is really gonna tick that box of, of increasing muscle power. Uh, you know, an overall athletic performance from that muscle power perspective. That's probably the biggest gap in this formula that I can see. Uh, something directly for mental focus. Now we do have those stimulants, the dynamine, the area durensis that do work on neurotransmitter pathways uh, and dynamine in particular increases the, the synthesis of acetylcholine, but we don't have anything in there really specifically for mental focus as a standalone agreement, uh, a standalone ingredient. There's no uh, choline by tartrate, there's no cognizant citicholine, there's no tyrosine, there's no herpersine A. So definitely a little bit of a gap in the formula from a mental focus perspective in its own right. And then finally, although we do have a massive dose of L-citrulline and a massive dose of taurine, we're missing something that kind of addresses what happens after nitric oxide is boosted or after arginine has been boosted. So there's no agmatine in there to prevent the breakdown of excess nitric oxide. There's no norvaline to prevent the breakdown of excess arginine in our bloodstream. So it is kind of missing that, that kind of after the fact uh, nitric oxide boosting ingredient uh, in the formula. But apart from that, I mean, it ticks most of the other boxes uh, that we look for in, uh, in a pre-workout formula. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes, comes in three unique flavors. Comes in orchid apple, and this is actually the only flavor tub I've got here. So you guys are gonna have to use your imagination. Comes in. California Gold, which is a peach mango type flavor, comes in. Galaxy Pop, which is like a Freedom Icy Pole flavor. They've actually, in spite of actually listed on their website as a combination of, you like how I'm still holding this imaginary tub right here, uh, has li have listed it as a mixture of blue raspberry, cherry, and citrus. Uh, which is a which is an interesting combination. I myself, the only flavor I've tried, to be honest with you guys, is this here, uh, this here orchid apple. Uh, and because this is the only tub that I have in my possession at this point in time, this is what we are going to do the Massive Joe's infamous Massive Joe's taste and mixability test 
on. Before we get into that, I'm just going to shoot to uh, some footage that we shot here in the kitchen at MJHQ because one thing I have to point out to you guys is that these scoops are nowhere near what they should be in terms of what the label recommends. So the label, the label says serving size, one scoop, 8.9 grams, two scoops, 17.8 grams. As you guys can see right here, one scoop is closer to 12 grams than it is nine grams. So we're talking about like the scoops are off by about 30%. Uh, which is something I need to make you guys seriously, seriously aware of because if you're going straight to the two scoop serve, which is what this raw review is based on, you're going to be getting not a 17.8 gram serve, you're going to be getting like a 20, you're going to be getting 30% more, you're going to be getting like a 24 gram uh, serve if you're taking these scoops and using them to weigh out uh, your two scoop serve of inspired uh, Devastate. So, my advice to you guys is firstly get yourself some scales and weigh the shit out or if you don't have scales and can't weigh the shit out in one of their scoops this this is what one scoop looks like and to be honest with you guys you can get pretty damn close to a two scoop serve if you just take a fucking heaping scoop something like that is going to almost be that 17.8 grams, that two scoop serve. Uh, so just be aware of that. It's not actually, too, it's nowhere near. If you take two level scoops, you're going to get way more than you bargained for. Uh, onto the Massive Joe's infamous taste and mixability test. I'm going to take, fuck, for shits and giggles, I'm just going to take like just one level scoop, just so I can show you guys how it mixes and refresh my memory and how it tastes, man. So I got myself one level scoop of, this here, inspired, devastate. Got my double wall glass ready to go. I'm gonna throw this bitch in this bitch. And let it rain, let it rain. A few flicks of the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys how it mixes. And refresh my memory on how this inspired, devastate tastes. Man. As I'm mixing it up, you guys can quite clearly see that uh, they, they're not messing around when they say they don't use uh, colors, dyes, or anything like that because there's literally no color to that uh, apart from you know the natural color of the active ingredients. All right, that's enough. As you guys can see, pretty well mixed. There's no floaters, there's no sinkers yet. If I kind of let it sit here, there will, the sinkers will accumulate down the bottom. That being said, it is a pre-workout. So I would go so far as to say blender ball is not required. For this inspired Devastate, let me refresh my memory on how this orchid apple tastes, man. It's not bad, it's not great, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. The initial taste is really quite nice, but there is some funky shit going on with the aftertaste in this Devastate right here. Some real funky shit. It's almost got like a bit of a, a bit of a kind of medicinal aftertaste going on, but I mean, it's a pre-workout, guys. You're not going to be mixing it in that much water. The serving sizes are not huge where you have to have a full shake of water and, and chug it down. So, you know, I would say the flavor's not bad. But if you weren't getting the effects, you probably wouldn't go out of your way to drink it. Speaking of effects, in terms of the effects, because that's what you're taking the ship for, we're dealing with a relatively high powered, high stimulant pre-workout. Now, I've tried this a bunch of times. I've used this Inspired Devastate a bunch of times, and I've experimented with different dosages viewers at home. Those of you who follow Raw Reviews, you would know that my, my kind of caffeine anhydrous single dose taps out at about 300 milligrams. If I have over 300 milligrams, I know that I'm gonna feel great for 15, 20, 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna feel like shit for the rest of my workout. In a two scoop serve, in a two scoop dose, we're dealing with 350 milligrams, so it takes me over and above that. So I've kind of, I've, to be honest with you guys, I've 
walked around with a whole bunch of different serving sizes, weighing them out, obviously, and seeing the difference in effect that, that I've experienced from this pre-workout. So I've really gone balls deep in this for you guys. I'm excited to share this experience with you. So I started with a nine gram serve, which is one scoop. I then went up to 12 grams, then went up to 15 grams, and then went up to 18 grams, which is like the full two scoop uh, serving size. Nine grams, the one scoop, I was like, meh, it was okay, but it wasn't that great. 12 grams, much better, but still, you know, nothing that I kind of rushed to use again. I skip over 15 grams, I'll come back to that. Two scoops, 18 grams, as I kind of expected it would, I felt amazing for about 30 minutes and then <laughs> like crash really, really hard, uh, like halfway through my workout. Tw uh, 15 grams, which is pretty much uh, 85% of a two scoop surf. So it's like, it's almost like one and two thirds uh, of, of, a, of a scoop, but not their scoops because their scoops are uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, 15, a 15 gram serve for me really was the sweet spot, uh, really was the sweet spot. And, and at that 15 gram serve, that 85% of, of the two scoop serve, man, oh, it's some good shit viewers at home. <laughs> it's some, it's some good shit. In terms of like the, the energy, at that 15 gram serve for me personally, energy comes on really, really fast, like, like within 10 minutes fast, and hangs around for the better part of about 90 minutes. Re and like good, like good energy as well, not, not transient caffeine energy, I'm talking like good energy feeling of well-being was amazing like I'm like dancing around the gym I'm like I'm feeling good I'm uh, the feeling of well-being was was really really good and the, the 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 overall kind of uplifting effect on mood and physical energy and just feeling good but then also just wanting to just go in the gym and crush was just oh, so good so good at that 15 gram serve for me. That's when I hit that sweet spot, viewers. I was like, man, I'm in the I'm in the pocket right now. Just a really, really great feeling. That really lasted for the better part of about 90 minutes. And then after that 90 minutes, I definitely didn't get the kind of post-workout crash, the post-workout downer that I did when I took the full 18 gram two scoop serve. Um, that really kind of sent me in the other direction. But at that 15 gram serve for me, just nailed it. Muscle pumps um, were okay. Definitely gonna be much better if you're stacking it with a non-stimulant pump supplement and kind of filling in those gaps of like agmatine, norvaline, uh, nitrosigine, you know, other type of pump ingredients that, that the Devastate really is kind of lacking in. But the muscle pumps by themselves, just, you know, without using a, 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 a non-stimulant pump sup and stacking it, were really quite good. Muscular endurance, f***ing great, um, you know, it's really good as well that, that this does deliver really great muscular endurance with the combination of that big dose of beta alanine and the stupid dose of taurine because you get this combination of the rapidly onsetting, long lasting increase in physical energy, psychological performance, feeling of well being and mood, plus the ability to, to use it because your muscles aren't failing because of the, 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 the elevated muscular endurance you're getting from that combination of beta alanine and taurine. So the synergism between those is really, really quite cool. Mental focus, not really there. Um, definitely a feeling of elevated mood and elevated well-being without tunnel vision mental focus, if that makes sense to you guys. So there's a, there's a definite, there's definitely something going on in here, but it's not targeted at mental focus, it's targeted at just feeling really, really good. But overall, I mean, once, guys, once I hit that sweet spot, and I encourage you to play around with 
the, the, I mean, the fact, the fact that, this, that the scoops are so far off what they're supposed to be kind of forces you to get your scales out and play around with your own personal kind of grammage, your personal kind of dose to find that sweet spot. And I encourage you guys to find that sweet spot because when I did, it was, it was literally like, like, like night and day. It really was for me. Once I, once I figured out that 15 grams of that sweet spot, it was... Like it's a pre that you like get, you get excited to use this pre once you find that sweet spot. So I encourage you guys to, to do that, play around with, you know, nine grams, 10 grams, 12 grams, 15 grams, 18 grams, depending on your stimulant tolerance and whatnot, and find that sweet spot. And once you find it, man, you just, like it's, 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 it's go time, baby. In terms of the side effects, no surprises here. If you are sensitive to stimulants, as I mentioned, you're going to have to play around with that dosage because this is a very high stimulant pre-workout. In that full two scoop serve, 350 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous in its own right is a massive dose of caffeine plus 300 milligrams of dynamine plus 300 milligrams of area durancis. It is a locked and loaded, well, then the theobromine on top of that, it is a locked and loaded, very powerful, very high stimulant uh, pre-workout supplement. So definitely, if you know that your tolerance to stimulants is not that great, definitely play around with that dosage just to kind of find that sweet spot. Uh, if you are sensitive to area durancis, and I do need to point this out because area durancis is a very potent mood enhancer. As I mentioned to you guys, that's really, you know, one of the main effects I got from this was that elevation in mood and, and feeling of well-being. But everything that goes up, must come back down. If you are sensitive to area durensis and you've used sups that have area durensis in it and you know that you're sensitive because after you work out, you, you feel really kind of depressed um, without using that term out of context. You just don't feel good. You have a real drop in mood. Uh, this is a stupidly huge dose, like twice the amount of, of any other pre-workout supplement that uses area durensis in a 300 milligram dose. So it's gonna make you feel amazing, but if you're sensitive to the come down effect after taking aerodurensis, once again, you're going to need to experiment with that, that uh, dosing just to get it right so that you're getting the uplift of that effect, but then you're not getting the, you know, the post-workout drop in mood from it as well. In terms of stackability, no real surprises here. Do not stack it with anything else that contains any form of stimulant whatsoever. Uh, but it is going to stack well with non-stimulant muscle power formulas, non-stimulant pump formulas, non-stimulant formulas that combine muscle power and pump together, uh, non-stimulant formulas that have the effect of increasing mental focus or mental focus and pump or mental focus, pump and power. Really, those are kind of the... the the, the uh, areas for improvement with this inspired Devastate is better muscle power, better muscle pump, and, and better mental focus. So any supplement that's non-stimulant, let me emphasize, non-stimulant, that's going to enhance those effects, is going to stack quite well with. The final thing I will say is in terms of price and value for money in the Australian market, you're looking at $69.95 for one of these 40 scoops slash 20 serve tubs. If you're using 0.85 of the two scoop serve like I am, which is the sweet spot for me, it's going to get me do the math like 24, 25 serves uh, at $69.95. So it's about where it needs to be in the Australian market to represent very good value for money in terms of especially what's in this formula. So guys, if you're in the market for a very strong, high stimulant pre-workout formula that's going to get you amazing muscular endurance to match, give you a feeling of increase in mood and well-being that is like no other, and get you some muscle pumps in there as well you got to go out and get yourself some of this inspired Devastate. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC. And guys, that is Massive Joe's raw review on the all-new inspired Devastate in the house. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay.
Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.